I, I saw you on Twitter yesterday saying you want to change it next year. If I was having the year you were having, I, you, you couldn't pay me to change a thing about what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, now that I think about it, I did that in high school. I mm -hmm. uh, had a number and then changed it, and then the next year wasn't so good. So, I don't know, I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay. For you, if, if you can talk about just the consistency, what, what you've been able to do, what has gone into this year for you, and, and I mean, has, has it sunk in, what, what you've accomplished so far? Uh, I mean, regarding consistency, you know, we, I was battling injuries last year, but uh, this year, you know, we, we, we all, as a group, had a great off season, and, you know, I think that's helped a lot with you know, staying healthy, and just every day, we watch film on the, the day before, you know, our kicks with Coach DeForest, you know, we, he points out mistakes, and then we go out and uh, try to fix it during practice, and, you know, just... I mean, just staying on top of everything, you know, working hard, I think, has, has been the key. When Joe was out here before, he said that he thought your your kick last week probably would have been good from another 10. I mean, we, we've talked about your limit, pushing your limit. You've already tied the school record. I mean, did, does it mean anything to you to, to have your name tied to that record? And, and do you want to push it that one yard further, that five yards further, and, and see how far you can go? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I hope that I get a chance to beat it. I do. But when you go out there, that's that's the furthest thing from your mind. Oh yeah, I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about making the kick. And and for you, I, I know you kind of touched on it last week. Um, how how much? Uh, I guess type two diabetes. I mean that's that's. I'm type one. Type one. Sorry. Okay. I'd I'd heard type two. I wasn't talking to you last week. I had it for eleven years. Does that impact you? I mean, how they how do you have to? structure your day and structure what you do to account for that? Uh, before the game, I have to make sure I eat a good meal. Okay. And uh, I uh, try to keep my blood sugar before the game and during the game around a certain number. Mm -hmm. So I check eight, ten times a game to make sure that it's not dropping low. Mm -hmm. So uh, other than that, I mean, as, as long as I stay on top of it, it doesn't matter. Snack during the game? I mean, do you have things? If it, if it starts to drop, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll eat some. Has, has it ever impacted you in a game situation where you felt? Nope. Okay. Nope. So you've done a really good job managing yep. it. That's huge. Okay. Because, cool. I mean, if it does drop low, it, it would it would affect me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It would, yeah. Bad salad, yes, right? Yeah, it would be a big deal. So, no, I mean, I stay on top of it, so that doesn't happen. He said before that 54-yard field goal, your number one deal was to get to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, he was just making the joke because uh, two weeks ago, I, I was cramping a lot. Yeah. So now, now Friday and Saturday before the game, you know, he'll he'll sit there and bring me a Gatorade and say, drink this. So, I you know, I was a lot more hydrated. So. <laughs> You know, and we're not running around and sweating everything out. So, you know, we're just sitting there, so I have to go to bed. I know you've told this story before, but get, get, get us to West Virginia. Joe said there were some people that he relied on to say, hey, these are the kickers you need to look at, and then he goes through the list. Get, get, get that, uh, go through that story again. Uh, he, ha he found me through Chris Saylor. Right. Chris Saylor runs Vegas, camps right? nationally. Well, yeah, yeah, Vegas is the big one. Right. But uh, I, he called Chris, and Chris got in touch with me and told me that, to be expecting a phone call from Coach DeForest. So I was sitting in class one day, the phone rang, I knew you know, who, who it was. So I raised my hand, told the teacher I had to leave. I walked out, talked to Coach DeForest. He, he offered me, <coughs> got off the phone with him, sat back down in class. Two minutes later, I got up, left again, called him back and said, I'd like to come to us.